Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing conic section and today we are going to start a new topic from it that is hyperbola and this is a video lecture number 10. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 9 before watching this part 10. In this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, hyperbola as I said. So let us discuss what is hyperbola and how it is different from other uh, conic section that is ellipse and uh, parabola. So let me uh, write the definition first then we will start uh, how this will be different from the other portion of uh, conic section. So here the definition of hyperbola let us uh, discuss this. Hyperbola is the locus of a point which moves in such a way moves in such a way such a way that its distance that the sum of its distances no, so not sum but difference of difference of its distances difference of its distances from two fixed points fixed points are always is always always constant difference means the distance from other point minus distance from nearer point so there are two points and distance from these two points uh, difference of the distance from two points is always constant so let us draw one hyperbola and then we will discuss uh, what is the meaning of this so here a hyperbola is like this and uh, there are this is x axis say right and this one is x dash this is y axis and there is y dash so y axis right now hyperbola is nothing else but uh, there are it moving such a way that distance from any two fixed point. So we can write here there are two lines. Let me draw this. The distance from these two points is always constant. And like this, these are the two lines, and uh, here are the two fixed points. So any point on this will be. any point on this say here is a point s and there is an s1 or s dash so p is any point suppose p is here and the shape will be like this so the distance from fixed point from this this is a ps and it further point is this from this point further point is this and uh, distance from this ps uh, and distance from this one to nearer point the difference from these two points are always constant so these two points say p s dash p s minus p s dash is 2 if there is another point say uh, p dash here is a point again point can be anywhere at this these two curves say there is a point is here in that case what will happen the distance from this ps and uh, dash and minus ps is always to also to a so here the distance of these two is always constant why this is two a that we will prove it but uh, till now try to understand that if this is p and p dash are two points so according to definition what will happen that uh, p s minus p s dash is also equal to 2a and here p dash s dash minus p dash s is also equal to 2a it means any point lies here any point lies on uh, this locus either here or here 
this will be the difference of their distances from two fixed points is always constant, right? Since the difference is distance, difference of distances is always positive, distance cannot be negative. So we will write here matrix modulus sign and that is 2a. And the fixed point, two fixed points S and S dash are called the two fixed points, two fixed points S and S dash here are called focus of foci of hyperbola hyperbola so this one is focus this one is called focus and this one is also called focus right this one is focus these two points the axis which is where they lie on focus lies this is called major axis this is called major axis right and this axis is perpendicular to it so this is called minor axis minor axis right so the and the major axis and minor axis where they intersect that is called center right so these are few things which you need to remember so this major and minor axis here in hyperbola renamed with another name that is called transverse axis and conjugate axis. So the major axis is not renamed as transverse axis. Transverse axis and the minor axis is named as conjugate axis. Nothing the difference but just the name is changed. Conjugate axis. Right? So minor and major axis are named as transverse and conjugate axis. Uh, why I said that the minor and major axis just to explain similar like uh, ellipse. But here the axis renamed as transverse axis and conjugate axis respectively. This the point of intersection is called center. So if center is coordinate of center is 0, 0. The coordinate of this focus is say C, 0 c comma 0 and uh, so obviously this will be because they are on x axis so x coordinate uh, y coordinate must be 0 and this focus is called minus c comma 0 the where they intersect on x axis that is called vertex so the coordinate of this vertex is uh, as usual a comma 0 and this is minus a comma 0 so these are called vertex say a and a dash respectively similar like ellipse that these are vertex so this these two are called vertex vertex of parabola so vertex of parabola is this one vertex right this one is called vertex 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 of parabola vertex of parabola. So here vertex, now let me define this, what is the conjugate and transverse axis. Transverse axis, if the axis passes through focus, transverse axis are those axis passes through focus. Transverse axis is the axis passes through passage through focus right and conjugate axis conjugate axis is per the perpendicular axis perpendicular to transverse axis transverse axis right the point of intersection the point of intersection intersection of transverse and conjugate axis and conjugate axis axis is called center is called center of hyperbola center of hyperbola right 
so these are few things which you need to remember i hope you got it transverse axis conjugate axis and the point of intersection where they intersect they are called center of hyperbola since this is an origin and this distance is j and this distance is j so distance between two vertices is 2a and similarly the distance between two foci is 2c so the distance between two uh, vertices the distance between two vertices between two vertices is 2a and the distance between two foci distance between two foci is 2c right now remember here b is defined as b is c square here b is defined as similar like b square is equal to c square minus a square and therefore b is equal to under root c square minus a square right so we will uh, put it now as per the definition uh, we will write here the length of transverse axis the length of transverse axis length of transverse axis is 2a and length of conjugate axis transverse axis is a a dash that is 2a and length of conjugate axis the length of conjugate axis conjugate axis supposed to be b b dash which is known uh, seen here that is 2b right b b dash is an imaginary i'll show you where this b and b dash will lie so uh, indeed length of transverse and conjugate axis we will define it and now we can derive the equation of hyperbola now this is hyperbola as we had discussed already uh, so this will be at the coordinate of uh, this is center so 0 0 this is a and uh, this one is b a is this distance distance from origin to vertex along x axis and uh, along y axis the distance is b and c is this distance that will be defined later on so uh, here clearly we can define that c square is equal to a square plus b square and therefore since c square is equal to a square plus b square so therefore b square can be written as c square minus a square and therefore b is equal to under root c square minus a square now uh, let us discuss uh, the how it is what is the constant difference p be any point since p is variable point is variable point variable point on hyperbola hyperbola let P B P B at any time at A P B at any time P B at A any time P any time at A point A. So the distance of as per definition the distance of P is p s plus p s dash minus p s dash right now p s minus p s dash so here the distance farther point minus nearer point so p s dash minus p s is equal to 2a that we have to prove right now so that means basically 2a we have to prove so we will write here p is at a so we can write a s dash minus a s right so what will be that let us discuss this and uh, more or less uh, because already written, written that further point minus distance of further point minus data distance of nearer point so no need to take more or less right now but by mistake if you write nearer minus further then you can use it more or less so a s dash that can be written as what what will be that a s dash 
because a s dash is further point. So a s dash can be written as um, a s dash that is a o this is an original huh? so a o plus o s dash plus a s is what is a s minus a s right now so what is a s a s is a to s that is o s minus o a o s minus o a and we know o a is what o a is a a plus o s dash is c so that is c minus what is o s o s is c and what is o a o a is a so in that case this will be a plus c minus c plus a that is 2a so that is why i said that distance is always equal to the distance between two foci or you can say length of transverse axis so this is what uh, you can check it any for any other point as well but this is a convenient that i can take point at a similarly you can take it at point a dash and you can check it but there is no need it is always two way so the distance between from two foci the difference of distance between two foci of any variable point uh, on hyperbola is always equal to 2a. So I hope you got it. Now what is eccentricity? So eccentricity of eccentricity of hyperbola hyperbola is similar like it's same as uh, ellipse. The eccentricity of hyperbola eccentricity of hyperbola is defined as is defined as the ratio of a ratio of distance of any foci from from origin from origin from origin to the distance of vertex vertex that is e is equal to c by a but clearly here c is farther than the vertex c is farther c is here and a is there so c is farther than a so c by a is greater than y. clearly c is farther than a and therefore c by a is greater than 1 c is farther than a and therefore c by a is greater than 1 and therefore we can say ellipse is greater than eccentricity of ellipse is greater than 1 you remember this eccentricity of ellipse is greater than 1. I hope you got it. Okay. So remember this. Now since c a square is equal to since c a square is equal to a square plus b a square and here c is equal to what is that a e remember and therefore foci can be considered as a comma 0 and minus a comma 0. So we will put here this employee a square e square in place of c that will be a square plus b square and therefore what will happen b square is equal to therefore we can write b square is equal to remember this b square is equal to what is that b square is equal to a square e square minus a square. So here we can write b is equal to always a square or just write like this no need to write this b square is equal to a square e square minus 1 remember this or you can write here that e square is equal to e square is equal to 
1 plus b square by a square. So this is what how we can calculate the centricity or e is equal to under root 1 plus b square by a square. In um, ellipse this there is a minus sign and here it is a plus sign. So just remember this what is the difference between these two ellipse is greater than 1 eccentricity of ellipse is greater than 1 clearly it is more than 1 here you uh, got it that it is more than 1 and uh, here in eccentricity of ellipse it is less than 1 so here what will happen that you understand it and foci are and foci are a comma plus minus a comma g right but uh, this is all that uh, when foci are lies al along x-axis. What will happen when foci are lies along y-axis? So these are uh, the coordinates. Uh, let me write this before going ahead. Vertices is here. What is that? Plus minus a comma zero. Center is right zero comma zero. Foci is there. Vertex is there. And now length of lattice rectum. What is length of lattice rectum? So length of lattice rectum is how to calculate the length of lattice rectum. Length of image conjugate transverse axis. Transverse axis is 2a and conjugate axis is conjugate axis is 2b. These are the few informations which you need to learn. And now we will discuss about uh, what will happen when foci lie on y-axis. In that case, uh, equation of hyperbola will be something different, isn't it? But uh, what will be the equation of hyperbola in this case? Let me uh, explain this and thereafter only we will discuss what will be uh, the another case. The first case in which uh, it is given that PS dash PS minus p s dash or p s minus p s dash is equal to 2a this is what let me derive the equation and what is the equation derivation let me write the top first derivation of equation and then derivation of equation of hyperbola equation of hyperbola So here, what is that? P s minus P s dash is equal to 2a. This is what? So we will write P s is further point minus nearer point. Right? So let P be any point. Let P x1, y1 be any variable point. Any variable point. Right? And uh, x1, y1 be any variable point. So, P s, P s is what? P s is further point. So, we will write here under root x1 minus c whole square plus y1 square. And P s dash is nothing else but x1 plus c whole square plus y1 square. Right now, using distance formula. Now, since P s minus P s dash, here is this point P s 1, x 1, y 1. So, P s is this distance, x 1 minus c whole square. And here P s dash is x 1 plus c whole square. So, if I use this P s x 1 minus c whole square and uh, P s minus P s dash is this, that is 2 so I can write this, therefore I can write here x1 minus c whole square plus y1 square minus x1 plus c whole square plus y1 square is equal to 2a. So I can put this one this side. So what will happen? This will be x1 minus c whole square plus y1 square is equal to 2a plus under root x1 plus c whole square plus y1 square. Aspiring both the sides, what will happen? On aspiring both the sides, we will get 
sides we get what will happen the square root will be removed this side this will be x1 minus c whole square plus y1 square and this is 4a square plus x1 plus c whole square plus y1 square and plus 4a 2ab because a plus b whole square will be applicable this side under root x1 plus c whole square plus y1 square. Now y1 square y1 square will cancel out and the things which will come this side is x1 square plus x1 square minus 2c x1 plus c square minus x1 square this side and c square that c will come this side also x1 square minus c square and here 2 x1 c minus 4 a square is equal to 4 a under root x1 plus c whole square plus y1 square. Now x1 square x1 square cancel c square c square cancel and that will be 4 a square minus that will be minus 4 a square minus 4 c x1. If I took negative sign common, this would be plus, right now, and that would be 4a under root x1 plus c whole square plus y1 square. Now, again, you can make it a square like using this 4, 4 can be cancelled, and now this will be a square plus c x1 is equal to a into under root x1 square x1 plus c whole square x1 plus or even you can write x1 square plus c square plus 2c x1 plus y1 square now squaring again squaring again we have what will happen here a4 because if you square this again it will be a4 let me write here in the numerator if you we'll square it again, this will be a4 minus a square will be plus 4 a4 plus 2c x1 a square plus c square x1 square is equal to a square into x1 square plus c square plus 2c x1 plus y1 square. Now you will find it that 2c x1 here is positive. 2c x1 a square and 2c x1 a square these two will cancel out isn't it and c square x1 square and uh, a a square x1 square plus c square let me write this how this will be possible so clearly it is a c square x1 square minus a square x1 square from this side it will come right and also minus a square y1 square this will come and this side a square c square constant will be there and a4 from constant will be there from this side so i can write like this now if i took here uh, x1 square common then what will happen c square minus a square and here a square y1 square a square if I took c square minus a square will be there. We know c square minus a square is equal to b square. So use this. Now what will happen? This will be x1 square b square minus a square y1 square is equal to a square b square. So divide by a square b square put the sides. What will happen? divide by here this is x1 square okay so divide by a square b square b square b square will be cancels x1 square by a square here a square a square cancel y1 square by b square is equal to 1 and this is the required equation of the required equation of hyperbola hyperbola i hope you got it 
So this is the required equation of hyperbola. You may keep it in mind that this is the required equation of hyperbola. Okay. Now what will happen here clearly A is greater than B and this is only when A is greater than B. Then what will happen when A is less than B then focus lie on y axis right and uh, focus lie on y axis and uh, the transverse axis will be along y axis and conjugate axis will be along x axis that we will discuss after the break till then bye bye keep watching god bless i hope you understand it there is no problem at all you understand how to derive the equation of hyperbola and what is all about focus, transverse axis, conjugate axis, center and uh, the relation between them and also eccentricity. So all these things you uh, first revise before uh, going ahead and after the break we will discuss the next topic. Um, till then, bye bye. God bless.